Hello everyone and welcome to the changes and reworks guide for Windwalker Monk on the BFA Alpha. I'll be going through the single target and then the AoE talents I've picked. All of this is set to change so if I'm wrong on anything, don't worry it's probably been changed on the Alpha. So first talent tree, it's literally the same, nothing's changed. I have the Tiger Chi Wave Chi Burst. For single target I'm just taking Eye of the Tiger for that extra damage. Um, next set, healing elixirs now been moved up into the same talent tree as Tiger's List and Celerity, but I just take Celerity because I like rolling around and just have that extra roll and just roll. Next one, energizing elixir gives you loads of energy and generates two chi. I don't really like it if you're not using it on cooldown; it's just gonna be a waste. Power strikes every 15 seconds, your next Tiger Palm will generate one additional Chi. These two are good, but Ascension just trumps them both. Increases your maximum Chi by one, so you can spend it on a Fist of Fury and a Rising Sun Kick right before each other. And your maximum en energy is increased by 20, and your energy regeneration by 10%, so it's just all good all round. It kind of does what these two do together, kind of thing, because you're getting so much more DPS being allowed to Fist of Fury and Rising Sun Kick. Your next one, you got Tornado Kick. Rising Sun Kick strikes a second time for a 25% additional damage. And Fist of the White Knight, which strikes your target with the technique of the White Tiger. It just gives you free chi. But I take Combo Breaker because if I get the proc of Blackout Kick being free, I can just use Rising Sun Kick again. Although it's a bit RNG, if I get loads of procs of, of uh, Blackout Kick, I'm just going to replace the... Um, the effectiveness of tornado kicks so i'm kind of relying on rng here but i just yeah next one inner strength each chi you spend reduces damage taken by three percent for four seconds chi torpedo works the same as it does now and diffuse magic i just take inner strength because i'm going to be using chi all the time so i'll have um i'll have three percent reduced damage which just helps with everything in general next talents invokes when just same as it does now Russian Jade Wind, obviously you know that's just not for it's not for single target and hit combo which each successful attack that triggers combo strikes and row grants 1% increased damage. That's just good because you're gonna be hitting the same target. That will mean you're doing 6% increased damage to that target. So for your last talent tree, wind strikes, whirling dragon punch, and serenity. Serenity is good if you know how to use it really, really well. But Whirling Dragon Punch is just good for just everyone. Everyone knows how to use that, and it's really big damage. So at the start of the um, expansion, I think a lot of people are going to take Whirling Dragon Punch because a lot of people can't get the full effect out of Serenity because it's actually quite hard to use. But I'll show how what their rotation is like now. So to start with, you want to go Flying Serpent Kick. Use your Earth Storm and Fire. Use your Rising Sun Kick first to get the um, add of the debuff. Use your... Uh, Tiger Palm to get some energy, use Fist of Fury, use Rising Sun Kick, and now you can use Whirling Dragon Punch, which is really big damage. You want to make sure that when you do a Dragon Punch, that you've got your um, Storm Earth and Fire up all the time. Touch of Death works the same as it does in Legion. So you want to get ready to go in Earth, Wind and Fire again. So just build up your, um, build up your energy, use Fists, and use your last Sun Kick, and then Rising Dragon Punch, which is just really, really good. Like the the rotation hasn't changed. It's just it's just got a bit funner because especially with the RNG of your um of your combo breaker, it's just really, really nice. So use Rising Sun Kick. But Monk's in a really good position at the moment. It's doing a lot of damage. Well, yeah, but yeah, it's really fun. And now I'll show you the AOE. Monk has really good potential for AoE, and I'll show that now. So just move away from that. So Chi Burst for AoE, because obviously you're going to do it, and it's just going to hit all of them ads and heal your party, which is really good. Clarity doesn't really matter on just, yeah, it doesn't really matter which one you take. You want to take Ascension again, more Chi, more, yeah, just more everything. You want to take Ascension again. Now for the next one. It doesn't really matter what you take. Maybe combo break again so you can get more rising sun kicks off. Next one doesn't matter again. It's just defensives. And for your next one, I always take, if it's more than one target, take 
If it's more than three targets, take Rushing Jade. But if it's three targets, I just take uh, Zwen. Just because it's going to do such big DPS, especially tying in with Storm Earth and Fire. It's just going to be really, really good. Then for your last one, you want to take Wind Strikes. So that you're, um, you're going to do loads of damage with these gusts every time you Tiger Palm. So you just got to make sure every time you use a Fist of Fury, you've got to get three Tiger Palms in before it comes back off cooldown. So you can get the full use out of your Wind Strikes. But yeah, I'll showcase the wind strikes, which is maybe your like your main DPS, which has changed. So start off with just glide in, use my stun, just get my props working. So use chi burst works as it did now. So use my fist, so I've got my gusts of wind. Now use Zwen and my fist, so everything's getting hit by my gusts. Just spam blackout kick. Use crane because I'm hitting more than one target. And get ready to use fists again. So I'm using fists now again. So I can get my free stacks of um, Gust of Wind. Use my gusts now. So it's hitting all the targets. Hit all the targets with my Crane Kick. And use my next Storm Earth Fire. Crane Kick. Use Rising Sun Kick before I start. Use Crane again. Use Crane again. Use hit all the adds with your... Um, Fist of Fury, use Fist of Fury, use Tiger Palm so I'm getting my Gust of Winds off, so it's hitting all the targets, but yeah, it's really good, it's really in a nice position at the moment, same as it is in Legion, but it might get, it might get nerfed, especially with not having the traits and the legendaries that monks have, but definitely with Serenity, if you know how to m maximize it and maximize the DPS, it'll be really, really good. Yeah, Windwalker Monks are in a really strong, strong spot, especially for single target, if you can get the full use of Serenity. But yeah, that's it for the Windwalker guide. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more guides, and yeah, see you later.